All right, y'all, you already know, man. Look, we can disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So, Bronny James ended up having a game last night against the Phoenix Suns, him and LeBron. Him and LeBron got on the basketball court for the first time ever that we've ever seen a father-son duo. I mean, I know we've seen King Griffey Jr., King Griffey Sr., but we've never been able to see it in an NBA game. Well, Bronny got in last night. Um, he actually also played on Monday. I'm tripping on the 4th, which is what, Sunday? Today, Monday, right? I'm tripping. So, Saturday. So, <laughs> Saturday. Well, anyway. Anyway, uh, on the fourth, Bronny scored two points, uh, one rebound, one assist. Yesterday, he scored no points, uh, two rebounds, no assist. And uh, Bronny, or LeBron, LeBron tweeted that it's surreal. And listen, I can understand how LeBron is excited, and you never see nothing like this, and you, you may never see nothing like this again. As a father, I could understand. But Bronny was doing an interview. And he was asked, like, how does he handle it? And he said he don't know because Bronny is almost, he's the one thrown to the fire with all of it. You know, and I, I and I, I feel for the kid. I know he wants to be in the NBA. Who don't want to work with their dad growing up? My father worked at Jenna Motors. I used to think about that I was going to end up working with Jenna Motors. So I can understand that Bronny always want to play in the NBA. But this, this player development isn't working, you know, if, at least... At least at this moment, man, I don't know. Bronny, I I think Bronny should be, if he going to do anything, Bronny should have went undrafted and played for the G League. Y'all got Bronny playing against regular, I don't know if he's going to spend most of his time in the G League this season, but if anything, he needs to play in the G League. And I'm going to say this as well for Bronny. This is going to be the most mentally challenging year he's ever going to have to face because his father can't protect him. You want to be in the NBA and now you're a professional player? So you got a lot of people that's going to no longer, you know, give excuses for Bronny. You're going to start going in. And I mean, you you score, what, two points in a game, a preseason game? You you, you wasn't that good in a summer league. And then even at USC, I watched every game that you played. You look like you you are a three to four year player. You know, I I know he's going through it right now, but man, I, I, don't, I don't know. Bro, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's if Bronny really wants to play in the league or just something that just LeBron wanted to do. But it, it's almost going to be like how when Bar how Barry Bonds is, right? I got Barry Bonds as a Hall of Famer. I think Barry Bonds is probably the greatest player to ever play baseball. Player to play. But he's going to always have an asterisk to some people because of, you know, him with the performance enhancements. And the same thing is going to happen with LeBron and Bronny. I mean, unless Bronny turn it around and become a... a all-star level player hell yeah no he gonna have to be an all-star level player or somewhere near there people are going to say you only got to the league because of your dad and this is something that he's gonna have to deal with you know lebron can't you can't speak for him ever and also lebron or Bronny's no longer a teenager he just turned 20 years old so but I do see how, how corporate media is trying to handle him with kid gloves. But no, nah, man, this man's a professional athlete now making millions of dollars a year between endorsements and salary. So we're going to have to hold him to the same standard. I, we understand LeBron's son and you watch him grow up. But when you're a pro, you're a pro. You know, so I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Like I said, it's going to be the toughest year. What do y'all think? Do y'all think, he think he's only in the league because of his dad? Do some of y'all think he's a good player? Let me know below.